Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I was going to show you some real-time uh, results on how this uh, reliable inverter, and you can see, purchased it under the name of WZRELB, Reliable Electric, so we'll just call it the Reliable. And it keeps coming down in price on Amazon, and right now it's extremely affordable, so uh, it's a pretty good deal for what it does. But I wanted to show you in real time what it looks like. Running at probably about 3 amps off of it right now. It holds steady at 123 volts. Shows the uh, battery voltage at 13.4, which is not extremely accurate there, but it's really... There's the extremely accurate 13.5. Uh, and then I'm going to throw different ki kinds of loads on this and show you how this voltage changes. So right now, like I said, there's only a few amps coming off of that, charging a couple of small devices, phone, tablet, that kind of a thing. But I'm going to throw some bigger loads on it and show you what that uh, voltage will change to. Right now... 123 it pretty much holds that steady on the smaller loads and it takes a fairly large load to make that change in any kind of way so here we've got a power meter and one of our uh, biggest draws in the household which i thought would be good for these purposes of showing what it draws on the meter and then we'll jump back and take a look at it what it draws on the inverter so right now you can see it's 0 0.076 amps uh, just plugged in. And we're going to rev this up and see. This is a, a Ninja 1200 watt food processor. And when it's on high, I'm sure it's going to draw just about 1200 watts. But we're going to see. So drawing about 387 watts was all it did on that particular setting, which didn't need it to be any higher since just making some cauliflower rice. So uh, I'm going to jump back to the uh, back room and we'll see what it looked like on the inverter here. So this is the reading when just a couple of small loads uh, are running that always reads 123 volts. The 13.5 is what it's reading the battery bank at, which is pretty full. And now we're going to kick that Ninja on and watch it drop. So there you see the voltage drop down to 120. So perfect for delivering about a 400 watt load out to that Ninja. So I would have liked to put it on the higher setting just to watch, but um, that's about the highest load that we have around here at the moment. That's all going to change with the addition of a refrigerator and going to hardwire that up today, I believe. So we'll have that on an upcoming video. But there it is, running that 400 watts. This thing's not even blinking. Fan's not kicking on. I will mention one thing. This fan does kick on sometimes when it's not even very hot in the evening. It's a little loud, but back in a utility room it's no problem. But if it was in a tight space, it would be something you'd want to consider is the amount of noise it makes when it does kick on. But it's got two powerful fans back there. And when it is running, it only runs for maybe 15 seconds, something around there. Not very long at all. Maybe once in an evening twice at the most is all it ever kicks on, even not drawing a very large load. So there it is, that Ninja is still running, but I'm going to go out there and shut it down. So anyway, it's the end of a beautifully charging day. The battery bank's up 84.9% full, 509 amp hours in the 600 amp hour bank. 
13.52. All right, everybody. I just wanted to show you a quick load on how that inverter's uh, working on a on a pretty good size load. Uh, we'll show you some higher stuff once we get that thing hardwired. Aloha.